Saturdays with Christina Opari, and today's topic is the one thing you must do to move forward in 2020. The one thing that you must do to move forward in 2020 and beyond. So I just want to share this with you because on New Year's Eve, I just kind of like, you know, you just remember everything that you had to do, all those goals that you said you was going to accomplish, everything that you said that you was going to, you know, things that you said you was going to pay, people you said you was going to pay back or just anything in general, right? So I rushed, I went home, um, I went home, rushed and paid like, you know, like different um what you call it, like nonprofits I said I was going to give back to. So, you know what? So I just hurry up paid all of that and guess what within two hours like i didn't speak to this lady in over a year i donated some money to her right not donated i loaned her some money and she said she was going to pay me back in a month but can you believe she called me back telling me about the hardship that she was having and everything that she was going through and she knows that she owes me and can she just pay um she's going to give me half now and I'm like, okay, but I, I actually forgot how much I loaned her. And I didn't even like, okay, I'm like, all right, so how much is it? And then she's like, oh, I don't know, but I know in actuality, she probably does remember. I don't know if she's shortchanging me or what, but she she cashed at me right away, half of what I owed, half of what she owed me. So what came to mind was like, wow, once you do what you said you was gonna do, that's when God will open up blessings to you. And then yesterday while I was reading um, this scripture, I was like, God, show me um, a message, a sign or whatever, right? So let me just read the scripture to you. And I was like, wow, that is super, super crazy. And it said, um, this is Numbers 30 and two. A man who makes a, a vow to the Lord or makes a pledge under oath must never break it. He must do exactly what he said he will do. So I was like, wow, super mind blown by that because I'm like, you know, like that's why so many of us are stuck in certain places in our life because we have so many incompletes. Once we finish those incompletes, that's when we can move forward, you know? And I'm like, woo. So um, I don't know, um, does anyone wanna share their experience like of something that just happened like once, like of any promises they made to God and then like, you know, they haven't, you haven't fulfilled or just, something that you did and then you, you reap the reward after so would you like to share yeah definitely um so i, I apologize i'm just headed to a destination i'm almost there but um it's funny that you talk about that so uh, when i was in therapy one of the things that the therapist said was the best way to cure yourself is to keep your word so one thing I used to do is I used to always tell people, hey, you know what, we'll meet up. Or I'll do this. I'll do that. And I would never do it. I'll, I'll last minute, I'll just say, hey, you know what, I can't make it and try to reschedule. And then it just never happens. So um, when I started to keep my commitment, to keep my word and do the things that I said I was going to do, I started to see that life started to open up more for me. So one, I was able to connect more Two, I was able to start speaking more. I wasn't as shy. So I feel like that was definitely my reward. Um, you know, for, for keeping my commitment to things. And um, I definitely see the benefits and the improvements in, within myself. Yes, that is like so true. And so that right there, I'm like, wow, because like, you know, I, that was actually over like almost two years or a year ago. And I kind of kept putting this off because I even, I made a promise. I was like, yeah. And this was actually to, um, um actually what are the two dust um was it was to susan judy coleman because i kind of sold a couple things and i was like god if i sell all these bracelets i give half to this organization but i kind of like like forgot about it but it was like in the back of my mind so i'm like all right you know i'll do it and then i'm like well god i didn't really sell that much so do we still want half so i'm like all right so i still went and did it that last um, well, the last day of the year. And that's when I'm like, wow, all this money's coming in. Even though, um, just like with the stimulus, everybody was saying that, oh, um, if you make a certain amount or whatever, you're not going to get it. If you're single, you're not going to get it. And then I woke up 
New Year's Day and I got the stimulus and so many people was like, oh, you're not going to get it because you don't qualify. So money is coming in. I don't want to say in abundance because I still have to, you know, do other things. <laughs> you know, I need as much as I can get, but still it's like things are coming in. I'm like, wow, God, this is a great start to the new year. Like, you know, and so that's why I just want to share with you guys. Like if you have any incompletes in your life, anything that you promised someone that you said you was going to do, just do it. Or if you promise God, not even someone, like if you make a promise, just like when you like people suffering from sickness or disease or whatever, and they in a the hospital, they're like, God, like God, you give them around. And um, <laughs> they like, God, just um, stop showing your video if you don't want to be recorded, guys. Yeah. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy New Year. So just like mm. people in the hospital bed and they, they promise, they like, God, I'm not, I, I promise I'm never going to smoke again or I, I promise I'm never going to see this person or whatever, whatever promise that you make and then they go against it. That's why they don't see the fruit in their life because they didn't fulfill that promise. And um, let me go further in numbers where, it's, um, where he mentions is like, he will... You know, um, wait, wait, where is it at? I'm going to find it. But yeah, welcome, V. Would you like hey. to share anything? Any incomplete? Any promise that you what? you you said you was going to do? And then you fulfilled it and God showed up and showed out in your life? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, What year was it? 2017. Um, I was doing a lot of bad things, living fast. And um, I ended up getting locked up. And when I was in jail, I was like, God would never, ever live that type of life again. I knew it was like a punishment. I didn't feel scared. I just knew I was wrong. Like, you know, and I never did. I got out. I actually worked like in a jewelry store at first. Like I just completely humbled myself and gave myself to God. And um, then he ended up getting me a job at Macy's. And then I was working at Macy's and I actually got hired from Givenchy. So I went from making like $16 with Macy's to adding on Givenchy with $25. I ended up getting, I had lost a BMW prior going to jail. God gave me a Mercedes. So it's like everything I lost in vain from, you know, living the fast life. He gave me back because I just vow never to do those things and I still don't do those things and he just continue to bless me all the time yeah yes. let's see look at that amen like you know it's like we have to go back especially we start in 2021 usually um during this time like right now I said like I'm gonna work on my vision board because last year um I had a vision a vision board party like an intimate one where all of us came together and we kind of like went through the things that we want to accomplish for that year and going back on my board I created hey Asia, welcome I'm just gonna mute your mic right okay I'm gonna mute your mic all right so just going back like I'm looking at my vision board right now and it's like a lot of people were suffering during 2020 like 2020 was a hard year for a lot a lot of people and I'm not trying to brag in any way but Honestly, I didn't really see any, any changes. Like, you know, I, I'm not saying I was affected because I did lose um, one of my cousins. He suffered um, like in the very beginning of the pandemic in March, he did like lose his life to it. But I'm just saying in my, my circle, my bubble right here, <laughs> um, God kind of like didn't really change like anything in my life. I still was doing good. I still- Me too. Working. I still, you know, I still have more than enough. So it's like, and that's why I feel like, okay, I'm just going to give back. And it's not to brag because I still need more. It's still so much, so many more things I want, but it's like, I'm just content. Like, I, you know, I'm, I feel that contentment, you know, just like, all right, I'm good. You know, you do like, there's so many other things that you do want to do. Um, Jimmy Jane, you raise your hand. I don't know if you want some, you have something to share, but yeah, but I just wanted to share that with people. And, and um, does anyone else want to share something that like 2020, like what they learned from, what it made them, what they came through, what they persevered through? I'm gonna, I'm gonna unraise your hand, Jimmy Jane. I think you did that by accident. <laughs> yeah, so like I said, um, yeah, we just got to do I, 
Hold on, let me take this down. I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna share with you guys my vision board from last year too. Hold on one second. Whoop, whoop. I came on a little late guys. Uh, so this is my vision board from last year. This is 2019. VU was there too. So, I know, I did everything oh, on oh. my vision board. That see, look, good. look at that, you see? But actually, this is 2020. I keep saying 2019. Yeah, but 2020, I didn't really get affected by the COVID either. I actually gained more during a pandemic. Which yes. Is sad, yes. Which is a blessing. Yeah. And Same here. Same and here. I basically Same here. gained wisdom, more wisdom, knowledge, and, you know, more finances. God placed me in a lot of, you know, good situations to bless me for the 2021. And most of the stuff on that vision board I completed last year. So that was like, I need to do another one for this year. <laughs> yes. And that's why I'm, we are, I think I'm going to do it via Zoom. I wanted to do it December 31st, but you know, things kind of got, but we're going to do a new one. Um, but yeah, I've had the radio there. I have like so many things, so many things on this board. That oh my God. It really, <laughs> like, you know, I didn't get my Oscar though. I have an Oscar right here, I need the Oscar. <laughs> but I did, um, I started the Zoom Saturday. I did my first podcast. It's like, okay, I'm putting myself out there. Things that I didn't think that I, oh, hold on, Asia, I gotta mute you. Things that I didn't even think that I was gonna even, like, you know, could see myself actually doing and being comfortable speaking to, like, you know, even though I know you guys, some of you. <laughs> so it's like, you know, I'm just putting myself out there and it's like, what do I have to lose? And then, you know, just making new connections with people and just seeing like once, just because everything around you was in chaos doesn't mean that what like you have to be a part of that. You know, you can not say separate yourself from it, but just know that God will protect you. God will wrap a shield around you. So, you know, you will not be harmed just like Noah in the ark, you know, his family, everything was good. Mm -hmm. You know, he had more than enough. And um, hold on, hold on. And Asia, you were sharing something? You can unmute your mic now. You said what? Oh, I was actually just gonna piggyback off of, I'm sorry, Miss O'Connor. Mm -hmm. yes. on your first name. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. Okay. No, <clears throat> um, sorry about that, everybody. No, I was just gonna actually just share like, you know, so many different things happened in my life that I totally didn't expect. Some good and some bad, but I, mm -hmm. I'm grateful that it was mainly good things, prosperous things. So, and of course, us collaborating for your cousin's memorial, Christina. I was happy to be a part of that at the tail end of the year. So thank you again. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. And um, hold on one second. So we can just go through some personal reflections. So how have I grown? Like, you know, some, some questions that I even posted. This is from Christy Lauren Adams. I hope I said her name right. But she actually, like, you know, like most of us is like, you know, you want to make these new year goals, vision, whatever. But you really have to see how much you've grown and what you learn about yourself. Because we always change and we always grow and we always, you know, and sometimes we can get stuck in our past. And just recently, you need to know who let like what you said who or what left who or what stayed and who or what came back what is new and how have you grown so so many times like little things I remember like just like in relationships like you know when things something is not going anywhere when you have to cut the tie and it's like you know yes it's painful but that's just part of um it's just, it's just part of growth, you know? Anything that you're doing that is new, anything, any new change you're making, any, it's so comfortable to just sit back and just, just stay where you are, not do anything, not change. But once you're doing something new, that it is going to kind of feel uncomfortable. It is going to break you out and make you feel like, oh, you know? So that's just what I want to share. It's like, don't, don't get too comfortable. Don't think that, oh, you can't move past this place. Don't give up just because it's hard. Don't give up just because you're not seeing results just right then and there. Like you have to continue. And um, so another question, right? What needs to change right now for you to move forward? Who needs to um, not even going to say who needs to leave your life, but what, needs, what needs to, what needs to change 
in order for you to grow in 2021, in order for you to reach your goals, in order to, for you to feel the way you want to feel. Because just like I was saying with the vision board, it's not so much about accomplishing the goals because, you know, you like I said, you see millionaires who aren't unhappy. You have to enjoy the process while, be, while going to that next destination. Enjoy that process. And whatever we do, we don't want to do it alone because we are social creatures. It's like some people like, oh, I'm cutting everybody off. I don't want to be around nobody, this and that. Like, I'm just doing this. No, that's that that causes depression when you isolate yourself. You have to- I feel find, like people have- You have to, to find learn how to deal with certain <laughs> Go ahead, you have, to just, you have to learn how to deal with certain things like in people. Mm -hmm. I think as we as humans give people too much. So that's why- you we be in those situations like oh I gotta cut everybody off you really don't have to cut anybody off you just test your energy around people and you know if that's what you know is best for you like around certain people my energy is very high then certain people when I leave I just be like be limit the time with that person yeah that's not it's not, not really hard I learned that this year actually from going to church mm -hmm. like I learned that like we just tie ourselves to too many things and it'd be our mind that really keep us, you know, stuck. Cause you have to always just think positive. These things are just temporarily, you know, situations. Like everything is temporary. Everything is, it's just how you get to your next level. Like every level requires different, you know, different focus, different strength. So that's just how it be. Like, that's all that is. So this yeah. year I feel like that's a lot that I have to deal with just, you know, because mm -hmm. I give a lot of, I had to learn that, like I said, last year, because I attach, like, I have a lot of feelings for people. And then this last year, it was just like, what? And but then it was like things I saw already. So it was just like, God then gave me the wisdom. But last year is like, he pinched me like, girl, mm -hmm. you need to stop. Like, so, right. Yeah. So, yeah, like that's it. Not, know what you're getting in, yourself involved in. And the biggest thing is learning, even though you hear this all the time, learning how to say no, even if it's going to hurt someone's feeling. Like I just had to do this yesterday and I was like, no, I really can't. And they kept saying, well, can you do it tomorrow? And I'm like, no, I can't. So when can you do it? In March, in April? And I'm like, I told you I can't. I just can't do it right now. I don't want to give you, a, I don't want to give you a time, you know, and it's not to be mean. I just, you know, sometimes you really just have to say no and just stand by your word because people are definitely going to try to like, all right, well, if you can't do it today, how about tomorrow? If you can't do it tomorrow, how about next week? And it's like, listen, I said, no, if I can do anything, I will, I will get back to you. But right now it's a no. That's it. And we and a no is a complete sentence. You don't have to explain yourself. And sometimes people is like, you know, they want to make their own excuse, like, oh well, you doing this. Oh, you must be with someone. Like, it's not it's like, listen, it's just a no. You can think whatever you want to think. That's fine. Right. And we take it, you know, take it from there. <laughs> you know? You, you you know what? Y'all, y'all, y'all speak so so much truth. I'm going to tell you, I, I stand by this because um, someone once told me this. I don't leave people behind. I leave them where they're comfortable. So if you're comfortable with mm, poverty, I'm that not. That's a good so one. You could, yeah, if you're comfortable with poverty, then you you could stay there. I'm not. So I'm going to do what I got to do to take myself out of there. And a lot of times we do put too much time and effort into people that won't put that time and effort into us. So you think about it like a bank account, right? Same thing that my mentor told me. You think about it like a bank account. You go into the bank account, right? And people keep on withdrawing, withdrawing, withdrawing. They're not making any deposits. What type of value are they bringing to yourself? So what I started doing is I started putting friends in categories. Like these are the friends I hang out with to get beer. These are the friends I hang out with to, to, to do business with. These are the friends that like my long distance friends. I call them and speak to them whenever I speak to them. So mm -hmm. that, that's the way I'm operating, especially in 2021. I learned a lot mm. in 2020. And I'm on grind time this year, so I'm ready. Yes. Like that. That just <laughs> gave me a little that like that. That's yeah. okay. Yeah, because you you got you gotta, you know, do what's best for you in this moment. Do what's best for you. And it's like we could compare ourselves. What is it? Like the FOMO, fear of missing out, fear of this. Like it's so many new things. Just like, you know, people are just like, oh well, um, 
I shouldn't be home right now because New Year's Eve or I should be doing this right now. It's like, what do you want to be doing? It's not what you should be doing, what others are doing. What do you want to do? You know, you have to, you have to um, really go deep down in you and see, like discover because how, like, I'm not even going to say loneliness because it's like, just because you're single doesn't mean you're lonely and you can be with somebody and be very lonely. Like, yes. like it, it doesn't, it doesn't really, right. you know, you have to learn how to enjoy your own company, you know? And that's one thing as, as, and as I guess, since I'm the only child too, I'm very comfortable with being by myself. Like I can do a lot of things by myself. I can, I enjoy my own company. You know, if someone can't do something, all right, I'm still going to go. Like, and I believe 2018, 2017, I forgot which year, but even when I started traveling by myself, like, and you know, and at the last minute, somebody probably joined in, but I met so many people, people that I kind of still talk to now. And they just became like good like friends or whatever that all right we still catch up it's like I go away and then I meet like a group of people that just like wow (laughs) you know I'm not by myself no more you know because you meet people as you go you can't just be like comfortable like because if you wait for someone else that's when you can miss a lot of your blessings and things that you want to do like you know a lot of experiences that you want to take because I was like the long like I was when it was last year that was my last big like say out of well, it's not really out of the U.S. because Hawaii is part of the U.S., but I was about to go to Hawaii by myself. No one said they could make it, whatever. So the last minute, my homegirl joined in. But I'm like, listen, I'm going. Like, I can't wait. I'm about to, I have a free room. I'm not going to let this free room go to waste. I'm going to You go. always do that, Chrissy. You always <laughs> do that. And so I went. Um, She just met me out there. I had to get to the hotel by myself. But it felt like, wow, I'm on this little island so far away from everyone you know and I'm like wow you know and just that little experience that little time of being by my being by myself is like listen you can do it you're smart enough you're wise enough you know you're an adult you don't need anyone to grab your hand and so so many times even when you go with like you know you see older people if their spouse if someone can't join them in their journey then they're not going to do it they're going to fall back and so a lot of your dreams be put on hold due to other people and and that's what I want to share. Just do it. Mm-hmm. Just do it. Don't stop because someone else said no, or don't stop because, you know, this person that you always, you know, yeah, like glue, they say no. So you're going to say no Speak yeah. up for yourself. But um, yeah, does anyone else want to share anything? Welcome, Daddy. Happy New Year. <laughs> hey, Daddy. Yeah. Anyone else would like to share before I continue rambling on? <laughs> yeah, but like he was saying, you're right. Like the, this year that passed too from me speaking in those videos, I met a lot of people that I actually speak to every day more than I speak to people I grew up with. Mm-hmm. Like they hit me every morning, send me Bible scriptures, send me like, you know, everything. So you're right. It's like you start seeing this year started letting me see like a lot of people that I was like ride or die for is not really ride or die for me. They're always trying to dig into my bank account, like you're saying, like, and I just can't do it anymore. So this year showed me a lot of that, like with a lot of people. And then I'm always a given person. So I learned this year, I started sewing a lot to my churches and to people that I don't know, instead of helping people that I feel like is just dead vessels, like, so that started making me feel like very much better too as a person like so you're right yeah. last year was a big thing yeah so yeah so don't be afraid to venture out and explore new things and don't be so you know because honestly no one's really thinking about you you know don't be afraid to put yourself out there not saying that you're not important or anything like that but you have to put yourself first and um you know, and enjoy this life that we have. Because when I think about it, it's like, wow, like the human life, I just say a hundred years, right? So we're almost <laughs> approaching. Close to right. So we have this one life. It's like, what are we accomplishing here on earth? And the main biggest question that I feel is so powerful for you guys to like really think about is what do you want your legacy to be? What do you want to be remembered as? You get what I'm saying? What, who, like, you know, because 
uh, we ain't going to be here for more than, look. oh, I ain't going to say that because I do want to live longer than 100, but you get what I'm saying? What's the odds, you know? So we have to really, 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 really like each day work towards that thing that we want to accomplish or give back to someone else because the children are, is our future. Yeah. You know? The children is our future. And, um, everyone is watching. So leave something behind, leave something for someone else. So they don't have to make an, a, mis a mistake that you went through. And that's what I find with women as well. I don't know so much with men, but a lot of things that we went through, after we went through it, we find somebody find out that somebody close to us went through the same thing. Mm -hmm. And it's like, if you would have told me, if you would have gave I could have handled it so better, right? Yeah. If you gave me the um like what what helped you get through or whatever, or don't go there because this happened. Not saying that, you know, we all have our um inklings on what what is right and what is wrong, but if you know, like, okay why didn't you tell me you went through this as well? I would have, I would have been healed so long ago. So, um, oh yeah, we got 10 minutes left. So yeah. So that's the thing. It's like, share your testimony, share, share something that you went through. So someone else can don't have a harder time getting through that same situation, you know? Um, yes. So does anyone want to share? We have 10 minutes left. You're right, Christina. Like, like I said, I remember I started doing a video speaking about my life and what I've been through as a child and everything. Mm -hmm. So many different people from like Pennsylvania, every all over, because my page is open. You know how many women hit me like, I, you know, I've been abused and I still can't talk about it. It hinders my life. It does this to me, and I just be looking like I have to thank God for the strength He gave me because. I don't even look like I've been through anything. And when I look at them, I could see like it wore on them. Like, mm -hmm. you know, like, and I just be like, damn, like, so yeah. you're right. Like you got to really speak your truth and you mm -hmm. got to make people adjust to you and yeah. not adjust to people. Yeah. Because like a lot of things, the reason why I am the way I am is because when I went back, I'm like, wow, that changed the whole trajectory for my life. 12 mm -hmm. years old, 13 years old, Dr during that time period changed everything. Cause before that is like, you know, I was going, going through the motion, but once that, that happened or whatever, I'm like, everything changed because it's like, who to trust? Who can I trust? I'm yeah. just like, I ain't trusting nobody. I ain't caring about nobody, whatever like that. I don't care about life. I don't care about nothing, you know, doing whatever. And it's like, wow, you really got to get to that core. And it's like, just because that happened, like millions of other people went through the same thing as you did. Like what you went through is nothing new. No. And so, yeah. that's so many people want to hide and um, just, you know, feel guilty. So let's just get off of that. <laughs> we got seven minutes left. So this is what I want, like I said before, like um, the main topic is the, what's the one main thing you can do to move forward in 2021. And that is to finish your incompletes. Anything that you said or promised God that you said you was going to do, do it, finish it. If you owe somebody, if you told God that I'm going to stop doing this, I'm going to stop doing that, do it and watch him show up and show out in your life. Because like I said, I completed two little things that I said I was going to do. And two hours, not even two hours later, I got a phone call and I got more, more than which I, what I actually get, get, um, gave. It was actually double. And not saying, cause everybody is going to get the stimulus, but not everyone. I didn't think I was going to be qualified for it. And I got it. So I know God is about to do something so crazy, so wonderful. And I'm just like, Thank you, thank you, thank you. And just filled with so much gratitude. And um, that, that is not to brag because I, I still need so much more, but <laughs> I'm grateful for what I have now. So um, some questions that um, that I want to leave with you guys that you can like just also, oh my goodness, so much I want to share and we got we running out of time. Um, also, I did some affirmations before I share with the questions. Um, I'm going to send you guys the link so you can get the affirmations that I just um, made yesterday for you guys. Um, it's affirmations to change. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, no, it's too dark. So basically, you know, I'm a magnet for miracles. My income is constantly increasing. New doors are always opening up for me. I am a natural winner. Like when you just, just 
wake up and just feel, fill yourself with gratitude, fill yourself with these positive affirmations, you know, like, you know, just changing how your day is going to be set up, you know, even though, you know, prayer and affirm the things that you want in your life and act like it's already there or already, you know, it's already, um, already has been accomplished for you. So some things that, some questions that you can ask to remain in the present, right? Anything that is trying to distract you is you can ask, what is this? What is this right now? Identify it because sometimes we don't know what that is. You'd be like, oh, I feel this way, but why? Ask yourself, what is this, right? Next question, what do I do with this? What do I do with this that is bothering me right now? Can I change it? Ask yourself, can I change it? And then how can I change it? It just keep on following up with questions, right? Mm -hmm. And what choices do I have here? What contribution can I receive here? You know? And if I can't change it, then I have to change me. Change the way I um, interpret the situation, I guess. You get what I'm saying? So that's the things that some things like self-discovery is like, what is this? What is this right here? Why is it making me feel this way? And then, so once you ask yourself these questions, your mind is like a mini computer and it will start searching out the answers. But sometimes, of course, your mind, you got to ask the right questions. You got to write the uh, right questions. Don't say, um, like, why am I so um, I don't want to say, why am I so sad? Or, you know, those negative things, because your mind will find ways like, yeah, you deserve to be sad because this happened to you. Why you deserve to be mad because this person cuts you off in traffic. So you need to do this. They would just, you know, you got to ask other questions like, how can I make myself happy right now? How can I feel better? Your mind will answer that. You get what I'm saying? Because your mind is a mini computer. So you got to ask those. Um, just like if you need money in the, um, like, you know, you're short on money, like, um, you're going to, you could say like something like, why is it so easy for me to have more than enough? Why is it so easy for my bank account to be more, you know, and just have those questions instead of answer, um, asking those negative questions. Like, you know, you want to change the words, change the positive because your mind is super powerful, but I don't want to even go too much further into that because I know that's a different topic, but I want to thank everyone for joining in and um, wishing everyone a happy new year and just do that one thing, accomplish that goal that you said you was going to accomplish those incompletes that you said you was going to do that person that you that's said you call and um, oops, let me mute you. Okay. Yeah. Those incompletes that you said you was going to do. So um, yes. That is it. And um, also, I will send out the link for you guys to get the affirmations that you can do. And then also, um, just let me know if it worked in your life, if you feel any difference, if anything, you know. So thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. <laughs> Have a good weekend. Yeah, Bye-bye. <laughs> Happy New Year.